Hey guys, welcome to another episode of What I Eat In A Week As A Vegan. We've got another week of easy, balanced vegan food. I haven't done my weekly shop yet, I'll be doing that later. So I had um, a leftover vegan pizza. We had a party at the weekend and this one didn't make it to the oven. So I thought I'd have this for lunch and then we'll be cooking throughout the rest of the week. But yeah, I think the theme for this week will definitely be very how to be single. I'm doing quite a bit of single girl content for TikTok and Instagram this month. Just reminding people how nice it is to be single. And even encouraging people to go on solo dates, like even if you're in a relationship, you should still be taking time out for yourself and prioritizing yourself. So far this week, I've booked in to go to a restaurant alone tomorrow, so that'll be fun. I love dining alone, so I really wanna encourage more people to give that a go. And then on Thursday, I've got Helena coming over and we're gonna do some like Valentine's baking. Sometimes you think you can't do datey stuff if you haven't got a boyfriend, but if you've got a friend, just do datey stuff with them. Yep, all tidied up, so it's nice to start the morning fresh and good, and we're gonna make porridge this morning. They were handing out these little Oatleys at King's Cross recently. They are the new Brewster ones. They've just made them smaller for people who don't have that much milk. So if you just have it in your coffee, for example, and it means that you're less likely to food waste and have your milk go off. So I love that they have launched one of these and they're really handy, but I think if I am having porridge, I am actually having a lot of oat milk. So I probably needed a bigger size. I don't think that big frozen strawberry may be blended up quite as well as I thought I did. It's fine, except I think I grind my teeth in my sleep when I'm drinking, so now my teeth really hurt. Yeah, and it's just, I keep waking up with sore teeth and I'm just like, that's so annoying. Like, what a specific issue to have from drinking. I just really wanted to show off how gorgeous it is out today. Oh my lord, it's so nice. I'm loving this. We've had like such awful weather for so long and now it's sunny and lovely. About to go on my first run of the year. Wish me luck. There's a good chance I'm gonna get a headache. I'm very nervous about that, but I'm gonna wind up um, at Sainsbury's doing a shop. Oh, God, throw back, eh? You haven't seen me do this in a while. I did the run and it was really good. Oh my God, it was like I never stopped. I don't know, my foot feels a bit weird. Like I don't think I could run a marathon today or even a half, but I'm still amazed with how well that went. Oh my God, I can't believe I've been terrified of that. I'm just about to do my shop and then I'm gonna go home and shower. I completely forgot to film, um, but mostly I chop things up, cook some pasta and throw it all together. We've got a pasta salad. I'm about to go shower, still my, my sweaty gear. So gonna shower and then I'll come out. This will have cooled because the pasta is a bit warm. And yeah, I'll eat this and watch TV. So later today, I'm actually off for lunch. I'm going to a restaurant and I'm going to be doing solo dining and kind of like filming content around why it's so nice, how to prep for it, what to do. Honestly, I feel like nothing makes you feel more 
like secure, I guess, than being able to go into a restaurant and with a smile on your face be like, table for one, please. I think so many people feel fear over saying that, but I think it's literally like one of the best feelings. So I'm really looking forward to that. And being like, oh yeah, table for one. I'm a cool girl, I dine alone. But the important thing, and I do sometimes get to do this, especially when I'm like spontaneously dining alone rather than literally going out to do it, which I don't actually do that often. Normally you're out and about and it's like, oh, I'll treat myself. Basically, make sure you take a book or a notepad or something like that, something to keep you busy, because otherwise you'll literally spend the whole meal on your phone, unless you've actually got stuff you need to be getting on with on your phone, which often isn't the case, or even if you do, you'll end up just playing games, scrolling through Instagram, I don't know. I always feel like I've had kind of a bad solo meal experience, if all I've taken with me is my phone to keep me entertained, because I kind of feel lonely and wasting my timey. <laughs> Whereas if you take a book or a notepad, you can really sit with yourself. I think today I'm gonna to be in the mood for a notepad, but normally I don't really know until I get there. Sometimes I really wanna, like I'll take a book, but I actually just wanna sit with my thoughts, but I find it really hard to do that without writing them down. And then I'll get out my phone to do it on the notes app and then I'll do anything but. So I'm taking both, but I think I'll be drawn to the notepad today. I don't support ordering from Amazon, but it does happen time to time. I got my deodorant refill and a tongue scraper. I have no idea what happened to my last one between the moves and I've really missed having a tongue scraper. I thought this was gonna be plastic free though, that's a bit annoying. I do not like plastic free deodorants. I've really struggled with them. So this is one of the best eco swaps I've been able to find. I actually did a whole video talking about like why a lot of solid deodorants irritate my armpits. So if you've got very sensitive pits, you might enjoy that video, but yeah. And you just refill the spray bottle. So obviously not plastic free, but definitely better than most deodorants. And sometimes being eco is about compromise. God, West London's nice, isn't it? If you're not from London, this is like the rich side of London. Everywhere's expensive, but this is the posh side. You guys will definitely see what I mean when we get to the restaurant, it is so nice, really nice. These two dishes are the best. I might try something different, but these are the best. In the spirit of living best single girl life, I've done like Miley Cyrus and I bought myself flowers. If you've been following me for a while, you know I actually do make a habit of doing this, but it doesn't get old. Always happy to. Every time I go to the gym on a Tuesday, that's when we have the dance class. It's my favorite, I'm actually good at it. I keep turning up like five minutes for the class, which should be good, but there's never any lockers left. So then I have to wait for the class to get out people to take their shit out of the lockers, me to put my shit in the lockers. And then by then I'm at the back of the class. I think I'm too coordinated for that. Like I can dance and then also it's like, I can't see the instructor. So it just takes me a little while or longer to get the choreography because I can't see what he's doing very well. Coming over at the back of the class, you can't really see what his feet are doing. So I wanna be at the front. And then after that we do this trampolining class, which I'm really bad at. And he always sees me in that. And I just want him to see me be good at something. So I'm gonna be front row. Although my thighs actually hurt from running yesterday, so I don't know how well I'm gonna cope with a double gym class. It was actually like a 30 minute walk away, so it takes me like an hour to get to the gym and back, then like an hour and 45 minutes on classes. So it's a real evening, you know what I mean? That's the thing about going to the gym. It's a plan. I'm not really a gum chewer. You guys have probably never seen me chew gum before. However, I have a really bad habit of biting my lips, like the skin on my lips, and also 
like the insides of my cheek and Dr. Google has actually, like when I Googled it, it was like, oh, that's a form of OCD. So I don't think I necessarily have an OCD. I'm trying not to diagnose myself, but um, when I also Googled it, they said, try chewing chewing gum to get yourself off the habit. Cause clearly my mouth needs to chew something. My mouth just likes to be busy. That's probably why I talk so much. Yeah, so I'm glad I bought this. I've been meaning to for like two weeks now. We'll see how I get on. It's been um, so nice getting back into fitness lately. I didn't really ever fall out of love with it. Life has just gotten in the way, whether it be a house move or sickness or something like that. So I've had a rough couple of months and it's taken me a while to get back in the swing of things. And I just feel so much better. I thought there'd be more of a transition period where I hated it, but it's been pretty good. I eased into it and it's just been amazing. So yeah, I really <laughs> recommend getting active. Take it slow. Like you guys have seen, I think I st I'm in like week three of getting active again, like intentionally. And I don't know if you can tell, but I think I'm eating better. <laughs> Probably not. I always think I am. And then I watch back on the edits and I'm like, no. And yeah, I'm just feeling good for it. Making more time with friends, being more intentional about like the energies I'm letting in. It's good. Mm -mm. Uh, update, I got into the fourth row, which is actually the furthest forward I've gotten so far. It was just so hard to get to the front of this class. Like when I got there, there were just so many people queuing up front. Like people commit. Oh, I forget dance can be like this. We all want to be in the front row, it's so bad. Oh, there was this one girl at the start as well that just like kept moving in front of me. Like I got my space and then she kept like shuffling her space and then standing just like an inch in front of me. So I had to move because she was in front of me. I hate people who do that. They don't have the space they want, so they'll just stand in your space and you're forced to move or bang into them. So I moved a little bit, but in the end, I was like, okay, I'm not moving anymore. And she ended up moving once class started because there just wasn't the space for us to swing our limbs about. So ha, huh, this is always a problem with dance, but we're not even like performing. It's just nice to be at the front because you can actually see what you're doing. And like, sometimes you think your arms are straight when you're doing a move and then you sit in the mirror and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and my perception of myself is not the same as the reality. And if you never get a chance to be at the front, then you never really clock that. Also, don't these look gorgeous? Oh my God. But yeah, uh, little things. I needed to get that off my chest, I think. Thank you for <laughs> listening. My body aches today. Are we surprised? No, but ow, ow, rest day, 100%. Yeah, I just do a lot of uh, what I eat in a week videos and this is one of the weeks. It's cool, it makes it look like I'm social when you know, see I'm chatting in here. I'm actually really excited to try this one. I really wanted to do a recipe using vegan tuna. I've just been craving it lately. So I found one online because I don't really, I've been vegan too long, I don't know what a tuna salad is. So hopefully this is nice. It looks like a lot. I think I just should have eaten out of this mixing bowl again, honestly. I actually really like the tuna based on the few tastes I had earlier, but I feel like a lot of people would not. Mm the moment of truth. I like this. Mm.
I think I'm actually gonna keep it in the mixing bowl tonight. That's good, I like that. I was actually meant to go on a date tonight and I decided against it because, I don't know, so it's a guy I met on an app. I recently did like a PR event with Thursdays, which is a dating app. And then whilst I was on there, I just got talking to this guy and I gave him my number and we were chatting. Not a lot, I don't like to chat too much. I'm like, oh, let's just meet up and see how we get on. Like see if we've got chemistry. But then like this morning he was like, oh, we still on for tonight? And I was like, oh yeah, looking forward to meeting you. And he was like, yeah, let's go for drinks and then maybe you can have me back at yours. Oh, like for a cuppa or something, or like we can meet up and then things go well, we can end up at yours. Or like, there was just something about like implying like, ooh, not only shall we have sex on the first date, but let's go back to yours to do it. And it's like, why are you inviting yourself over before I've even met you? And it kind of just left me feeling a bit uneasy. So I canceled, I was just like, um, no, like that message earlier um, kind of put me off. <laughs> this guy's a stranger. Don't be saying creepy things when you're a stranger, is the moral of the story. I feel like I haven't done as much this week as I normally do. Like normally I'm at all these like social thingies. Half that is because I have just done my tax return and I am pretty broke. So um, if you've been wondering why I've been uncharacteristically unsocial, I guess would be the way to put it. That would probably be why. Today I do actually have a fun day, but also kind of budget. And that is, I've got my friend Hannah coming over. She's also bringing her dog, not her dog, her sister's dog Gus with her. And we're gonna be baking a Valentine's style treat which is gonna be very fun but most of the stuff I'll be filming will be for Instagram so I'll film a little bit of footage for you guys but I'm worried I won't have lots but we're following a recipe from online or at least loosely following so <laughs> I don't think I've ever baked a recipe properly in my life I always have this compulsion to take creative freedom I don't know if I want to do something in the evening it's mostly just because I'm broke <laughs> And the problem with being freelance is like, yes, I know I've got money to come in. Like I've got about five grand to come in, which is a good amount, but um, I can't tell you for certain when that's gonna come in. I know when it should come in. I know when I'd like it to come in, but until I have that money, I can't be spending it. And I kind of need to live very frugally. But yeah, I'm actually really enjoying my little Valentine series. I never really got that stuck into Veganuary this year. And I think it's just I've done it to death and I just wasn't feeling too excited by it and I started off the month really unwell so it didn't give me like the best start either. But yeah, I'm just excited to really get stuck in and have a nice single time. Honestly, everything's so much cheaper and I've got so many more options in a big supermarket. But God, I get so lost. I just go up and down the aisles trying to find stuff but I finally found jam. <laughs> Um, I've had to come back because I got home and realised I forgot to buy puff pastry which is actually a really important ingredient for what we're going to make today um, and I had to drag Helena with me because I was unpacking when she arrived. She has a dog with her as well so I've just been really annoying. Yeah. And there's Helena. Oh, hello. Get the right one. Do you, you check? Yeah, well done. <laughs> Very well. Yeah, well, I was expecting them to be like completely loosely. Yeah, that would have been helpful, wouldn't it? God, it's, it is a lot of um, concentrating. Did I, oh, I didn't turn it on properly. <gasps> You're thinking of something right now, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, sit down. 
Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Ready? It looks a little bit like canapes with a salsa on top. I feel like, oh my god, yours looks so much better. <laughs> like we literally cooked together. How did this happen? We look like we're laughing because they're bad, but they're really good. They're really good, I promise. I swear every meal I'm having this week is in my small mixing bowl, but it's literally just because I'm trying to eat more veg. But you have to eat a lot when you're eating more veg. I sincerely believe this is a serving. I don't really make a Caesar salad often, so this magic Caesar mayo is gonna go into everything but a Caesar salad. But it's so delicious. I'm really a fan of this. I got this from Holy Carrot the other day. One, two, yum, yum, yum. This is actually very nice. If I had an adequate amount of pesto, I don't think I would have put in that Caesar salad sauce, but the pesto was not coating yet. Mm, very happy. So I've turned this off and now I'm gonna add all of these ingredients to it whilst it's still warm, but not to cook them. This is so good. It's like one of my new favorite breakfasts. I love it. I am really annoyed with myself because I really wanted to go on a run this afternoon and I've just like, I left it too late. I have been working, so I feel like really proud of myself for that, but like, I'm in the mood for a run, but I've got to, um, I've got a cocktail class, not even a cocktail, mocktail class today at about um, 7 p.m. So I have to leave here around 6.30, which is two hours away, but like the run would be an hour once you've factored in like the stretching and everything, let alone the shower time. I also should probably have like a little light bite before I go. And then I don't know what I'm wearing. And because this is like a brand event, it's you, you want to look put together and everything. So I don't be wanna, really want to be rushing after a run. Uh, God, I need to get more organized, but I'll just go on a run tomorrow morning. I'm like doing a mocktail class night. So it's not like I'm going to get drunk and hungover. So yeah, just focus on hydrating and yeah, not having a late one. I hate that. I hate it when I've let time get the best of me. It is the end of the week. I really do not have much left in the fridge. So we're just gonna make what we can make and hope for the best. Tomatoes, vegan feta, tofu, spinach, olives, asparagus. Let's go. I'm just gonna make like a scrambled tofu thingy, I think.
there was something in my head about me having to get like food in before I go drinking and I've just remembered I'm off to a mocktail class. It's not quite, <laughs> quite the same thing. I like my eye makeup. Oh, it's a bit smudgy. Between my oily skin and like my eyelid shape, I don't really do eye makeup often just because the creases are ridiculous. Half the reason I get my lashes done is just because otherwise like mascara will end up all here, but I like this.